Hello folks, time for another video in the shave. Alrighty then, well, this weather's been cuckoo the last couple days here. Yesterday it was like almost 70 degrees, warm, muggy, rainy. And then last night, it was like, it got down to like freezing cold again. We had the windows open because it was so like hot here. And then this morning, my wife went and turned the heat on when yesterday we were about to turn the air conditioning on. I don't know. But anyway, I woke up and I was kind of in a citrusy, grapefruity mood. Mode mood today. So, going with one of my favorite grapefruits out there. Tale of Old Bond Street grapefruit. I know I use this a lot, but I love it. I remember a few years ago, there was rumors out there that this wasn't going to be available. and But it still is because I did check. Um, I'm getting low too, so I may have to reorder. I mean, I'm not down to the very bottom yet, but I'm almost there. And it's such an awesome grapefruit scent. I mean, it is pure, fresh cut grapefruit for me. And the ingredients is right there in the back of the container. I did check, I didn't check on Tellerville Bond Street because I buy this usually from Amazon. And it is available from Amazon. I probably will maybe order this today or tomorrow because I do love this scent. I do have a couple grapefruits by other artisans, but I do love this one. So gear today, we kind of have that lather whipped up. I didn't really whip it up 100%. I just kind of got it going there. In the West Coast, honeycomb, West Coast Shaving Honeycomb. This is my wife calls it the pickle because of the bottom. And I have that cruising there in the Captain Choice Sandstorm Bowl. And Razor today is going to be the Razor Rock Game Changer in the 0.84. Here's a little update on the Razor Rock. I did order the bottom plate, the 0.68, because people have been asking me what the difference between the 84 and the 6.8 is, and I don't know because I don't have the 6.8 plate. I ordered it yesterday, so hopefully within a week it'll get here for, you know, future shave. But this is the 8.4, and I shouldn't even tell you what blade is in there because you should know me by now. There's a Persona Prep in there. All right, well, let's get this cruising. Kind of was lazy this week with shaving just because I was doing a lot of chores around the homestead. So let's whip that face, get that awesome grapefruit. Mm. Now what sucks is a certain medications I take forbids me to eat actual grapefruit because I love grapefruit, especially grapefruit juice, but there are a few medications that I'm on. I don't know the ones off the top of my head, but that I cannot ingest grapefruit so this way i get that good grapefruit scent mm. and yes my sciatic is still acting up but it hasn't been that bad in the last couple of days anyway so if i'm kind of like moving around here it's just because just kind of keep it loose Gonna keep it loose. Alrighty. It is the end of the weekend. This is late on Sunday. Well, not late on Sunday, but it's later than I usually shave. But I will post this probably today. Even though it is very later than I usually do it. Anyway. Razor Rock. Game changer. Feels like I got a giant hair on there. 0.84 blade gap. Like I said, the 0.68, I ordered it already. And we will find out when that comes in. I'm sure it'll be nice. Some folks told me they find the 0.84 slightly aggressive. So I like the 6.8. I find this to be nice. I don't find it to be too aggressive for me. You definitely can feel the blade. So we'll 
we'll see. I have this game changer with the UFO handle. I also have the Halo handle sitting right over there on my Mamba. On the Razor Rock. Mamba, which is I think a 0.53 blade cap. Nice. I really like the way that this razor operates under the nose. Very nice. There you go. First pass, very nice. Taylor Roll Bond Street Grapefruit. Put in that nice grapefruit citrus mode. Mm. Nice and slick. Very good. To me, this is the closest it comes to a freshly cut grapefruit. And like I said, I did check to see. It is still available. I do remember about a year or two ago that there was speculation that they were going to stop making this, but it's still being produced. Or it's still on Amazon, at least. I actually didn't check on the Tellerwell Bond Street website, but I'm sure if it's on Amazon, it should be available from Tellerwell Bond Direct. I will definitely be picking up another container because I do not want to fall short on this soap because I do use it regularly, regularly. <laughs> I forgot to tell my daughter to turn down her TV because I can hear it blaring in the background, but hopefully it won't be too loud on my video here. Alrighty. Nice. Ooh. That is really slick. And of course... There's just a little bit on the jawline, which, with that residual slickness. Yes. All righty. Oh, yeah. Perfecto. All right, let's empty good old Sigmund the Sea Monster sink. And while it's draining, let's see if I can get this slickness dissipated on my face. Wow, that went fast. That was a quick drain from Sigmund the Sea Monster sink. Nice. All right. Let's go with some cold water rinse. This is cold still. Oh, good slickness there. Awesome. All right, let's grab the old Karen towel. I love this towel that my wife made me. Love it. 
Love it, love it, love it. Nice soft microfiber. I don't want to say it's exactly like the, my Lancaster, but it's just new. And plus it was made with love for my wife. Yes. Love this towel. And I have two. Maybe she'll make more. Hmm. Oh, yes. That feels so good. All right. So a quick recap. That was Taylorville Bond Street, or Tobbs for short. Grapefruit. Awesome stuff. And we use the Razor Rock Game Changer in the 0.84 blade gap today. I do have a 0.68 on the way. And blade in there was a Persona Prep. And we use the West Coast Shaving Honeycomb. I don't know if you can see it there at the logo. West Coast Shaving. And that was mixed up nicely in the Captain's Choice Sandstorm Bowl. Which I don't think is being produced anymore. But I put a bowl up there where you can scope out and look at other bowls that Captain's Choice makes. Let me just parch my hair quench my thirst i'm already parched it's hot in this bathroom from the shower i just took and whatnot anyway all righty so let's finish this off with something that matches this perfect and this is the main reason why i bought this aftershave splash this is citrus bomb by hc and c hendrix classics and company i originally bought this splash just to use with this soap but I also bought this company's a soap, which is good too. I was going to pick that, but I said, you know what? I haven't used the Taylorville Bond Street in a while. Oh, this is such a great grapefruit scent. And since it's from Henderson's Classic and Company, you know that it's got good ingredients. Mm. Yeah, because Taylorville Bond Street doesn't make a matching aftershave splash for this soap i don't think they do anyway but i'm pretty sure they don't so that was hcnc citrus bomb matches this soap perfectly mm. nice all right folks so if you enjoyed today's taylor Vol bond street grapefruit thumbs up if you didn't like it pfft, hit that dislike button please subscribe we still need subscribers you know so we can have an awesome giveaway and until next shave stay safe out there and Glenn signing off. <laughs>